Namaste, Namaskar, Amidifo, peace and grace, love and mercy, beauty, 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 power and strength. Ah, thank you for being here. Thank you for being present. Do you ever feel like that you're really in tune and then all of a sudden not in tune? feels like there's sort of a chaotic sense of confusion around you. Do you ever feel that way? I have felt a bit of that sensation over the last 24 hours. And you know what's wonderful? Knowing that all of that is temporary. <laughs> all of those feelings and emotions. They move through. They're like clouds in the sky. They just move through. And I also think that in many ways it's part of this process. It's the universe almost inviting us to remember to return to our center. A few years ago um, I would have gone with the stream of these thoughts or feelings, emotions. I would have been emoting with them. And instead now, I just watch them. And I endeavor to not judge them, although sometimes I do. I think, why? Why is your mind feeling this way? You know, for instance, I used to use words like, uh, I am sad or I am mad, or I am confused. These were things I used to say, or I feel depressed, or I am depressed. Now, I will say things like, I feel a certain way, not I am that thing. I've changed the language because I, the true I, is not depressed, is not in chaos, and not confused, and not angry. I am feeling, or I feel a certain way, reminds me of this temporary feeling. Instead of me being that emotion, or me being that thing. You see, as the eye of our understanding is enlightened with the truth, we become less associated with being an emotion and more of a deep understanding of I'm feeling, simply feeling that emotion. Do you see the slight difference in that? One is, is that that is a, almost essentially it is me or a part of the recipe of me. And the other is being able to put it out here instead of it being in here. If you'll take the battle outside of you, you'll be able to actually see it instead of just that internal turmoil. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's wonderful. What's interesting is right now, and one of the reasons I got on a, a minute late was because of some weather in this area. Um, and so we, we've had some a little bit of wind and things here that have uh, caused a power outage at least once and it's not it's definitely been downgraded from what they said last night it was supposed to be really bad and there are folks in Alabama who certainly got hit really hard with these this stream of storms coming through um, those are interruptions that you learn to embrace and you realize I'm not in charge of what's happening in the uh, world around me. I can only manage my responses to it. And I'm learning to not react, to simply respond. Jesus, the master said, if your eye be single, your whole being is filled with light. This week, our focus or our attention and intention has been set 
on this third eye. The place of intuition and discernment. The eye that brings about insight rather than just the eyes that bring eyesight. This eye of our understanding, being enlightened with the truth, opening up, this is for insight, and these are for eyesight. One records information, and the other brings inspiration. Are you experiencing as you bring your attention and energy toward that third eye, are you experiencing some things? Maybe some of it's not necessarily pleasant. I know that as my third eye has been opening, there have been times where emotionally, I felt a charge of not so good feelings. It, it begins to show you a lot that you didn't realize was there. Maybe you've experienced that. <laughs> yeah, John, I glanced down and saw, uh, John Gregory said attachment and non-attachment, yes. Yes, practicing that non-attachment brings into focus and into view and into experience. I'm not attached to this emotion and it doesn't stick to me, not the true me even when it tries to stick to the vehicle. The true me is not attached. It's almost like um, <laughs> your beingness is covered with uh, Teflon. <laughs> I always wondered, how do you get Teflon to stick to a skillet when nothing sticks to Teflon? I don't know. Okay, enough jokes. Hmm, let's look, see who else here today. Good morning, Karen, good morning. Rachel, good morning. Linda, good morning. Mati, good morning. Myra, good morning. John, good morning. Fred, good morning. Karen, good morning. Melinda, good morning. Barbara and Jim, Good morning. Donna, good morning. Elle, good morning. Rachel, good morning. Thank you all so much for being here. Yes, Karen, remembering to be the observer. Information and inspiration. You're bringing in information through the naked eye, the eye of eyesight. Elevating inspiration with that third eye that is pictured often here. Actually, there's a, on, on our money, uh, paper money, which I don't see really much of anymore, there's a pyramid with an eye, the third eye. Um, you see it pictured in Hindu art. Uh, again, you'll see portraits of people with the eyesight eyes, and then they'll have a painting of the th what is believed as the third eye. Typically it's pictured as larger than the others. And there's a belief that it is connected to the pineal gland, which is toward the back of the head. We are softening that pineal gland and healing it this week. And we are opening up the eye of our understanding bring us into a space to be able to see past, <coughs> excuse me, see past the roles and see past the uh, chaos, the emotion, those temporary things. Imagine being kind of like Superman and having x-ray vision, vision so that when you come into a conflict, it's not that you have an advantage against an enemy, but you certainly have an intuition, a discernment during any conflict. You're able to see the divine in them. 
when you see the divine and the other, you're less violent toward them. In fact, it brings you into a really wonderful sense of compassion and love to the degree that <coughs> you're not violent toward them at all. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Good morning, Lisa. Mm. Nashville area weather was not severe good. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Ours has not been tremendously severe here. Uh, there was certainly an expectation from the weatherman, and I don't know whether that was for ratings or what that is, but it's been okay. It's been okay. Just a little bit of interruption. I can deal with that, huh? Can't we? Let's go into this space together. Hmm. Allowing this third eye, the eye of understanding, to fully develop. So that we will be able to say on the other side of it, I can see clearly now. Part of the process of this is allowing the divine feminine, and by the way, any men who are watching this meditation, don't be intimidated by the divine feminine that's within you. Allow her, Sophia in the Jewish Bible, which means wisdom. Allow Sophia, allow space for that divine feminine. It's a beautiful thing, it brings on balance, wisdom and intuition. Allow that to unfold. to the women in our group and those who identify as women. Don't be afraid or ashamed of your divine feminine self. I believe this is direct connect to the third eye, the opening of intuition and discernment and wisdom, understanding, clear thought and clear vision. space. Today I'm not going to use the singing bowl. We're already in this space. We don't need to be cued. Just bring your attention and energy toward the breathing. Breathing in. I allow the full development of the third eye. Breathing out, I let go of whatever keeps me from clear vision. Breathing in, I allow the full development of the third eye. And breathing out, I let go of whatever keeps me from clear vision. Just allow your breathing to move in its own rhythm and cadence. Notice it. Maybe whisper these words. Thank you. Gratitude and thanksgiving toward the lungs that breathe. Gratitude and thanksgiving toward the trees that produce oxygen. Gratitude and thanksgiving toward the goddess power and energy that 
helps direct all of this life flow, heart that beats, lungs that breathe, liver that filters, kidneys that filter. The blessing that I have in this spacesuit, inside and out, all of life taking place, and my ability to flow with it. So allow your attention and energy for just a moment to be in a sense of gratitude and thanksgiving for this spacesuit, this body. Whisper these words to your body, I love you, I love you. You're the tool by which I am able to sense this life. Thank you, thank you. I send you love, appreciation, and gratitude. sacred space that is only sacred because we say it is there's nothing to do and no one to be nowhere to be in fact you came from nowhere to now here so allow yourself in this moment to relax as if you were resting your body into a warm spring of water. Feel the relaxation in your head and shoulders, neck and face. Bring your attention to your heart space. Yes, this place of power, this place of strength. There's a strong sense of vibrating energy there now. A sense this is the command center of the divine nature that you are. And now as we are focused in on that heart space, I'll invite us to gather, as it were, supplies. <laughs> gather up strength. Gather up courage, a touch of compassion and kindness. Maybe I'll bring more than one touch of compassion and kindness. See yourself gathering these supplies, pulling them together for a special mission, gathering that energy, that pure presence. Now that you've gathered that energy, I'll ask you now to carry these supplies of courage, strength, clarity, compassion and kindness, gratitude. Gather all of that in. And now let's carry that all the way up between the eyes, slightly elevated near the forehead to the third eye. 
bring these supplies from the command center of the heart space to the third eye, feeding it, nurturing it, healing it, investing in it. You can't run out. So and make it that investment in to this third eye realm. You may in this moment feel almost a sense of vibrating energy in that space. The third eye becoming healthy. The third eye receiving complete wholeness and healing. The eye of your understanding being enlightened with the truth, with courage, with strength, clarity, compassion, kindness. all manner of good things, feeding it in this space, nurturing it, caressing it, given to its strength. Recognize who it is that brings healing and wholeness to this space. I am that I am, pure presence, the true I. Let's sit together in this space, just following the music, not just the music that I'm playing, but the music of your heartbeat and the activity of your breathing. Sit back and rest, knowing that you have just given the eye of your understanding, everything it needs to operate at full capacity. Let's be together in this space now. And whatever you feel, feel it. Don't resist it and don't grasp it. Just let it be. Let's be in this space together in the quiet.